And a local rapper was shot and killed in Brooklyn just about a half an hour earlier. It happened on 200 Winthrop Street in Prospect Lefferts Gardens. Police say 21-year-old Nicholas Thompson, also known as Nick Blicky, was shot in the torso and rear. He was pronounced at a Kings County Hospital. 443 breaking news out of Brooklyn where a popular rapper was shot and killed overnight. Nick Blixey was uh, discovered with gunshots on Winthrop Street in Prospect Lefferts Gardens. A picture from Instagram shows the rapper who has tens of thousands of followers, a 21-year-old artist born as Nicholas Thompson, was shot around 9.30 last night. Tributes poured in from the hip-hop world on social media for the Jamaican-American artist. May 10th, 2020. Tragedy struck in the heart of hip-hop in Brooklyn as an up-and-coming rapper's life was snuffed in a hailstorm of bullets. Nicholas Thompson, also known as Nick Blicky, like many others who lost their life to the streets, knew the life he lived was unsafe but had no idea that Sunday would be his last day alive. Nick was a member of the Brooklyn Collective known by the name Blicky Gang. Yeah. Oh my God. Yeah. That's not Blicky. Yeah. <laughs> Got it, Blicky. Blicky, man. Luke Blicky. Stone Blicky. Uh -huh. Richie Blicky. That's not Blicky. That's not Blicky. Keep Blicky. Bigger Blicky. Sprout Blicky. Jew Blicky. Blicky. Stick Blicky. The one credited with starting the movement is fellow Brooklyn rapper 22 G's, who was first 22 Blicky. I was 2 2 Blicky in the beginning. I'm still 2-2 two -two Blicky though, but I'm 2-2 two -two G's, you feel me? The word Blicky is urban slang for a firearm, thus already painting a picture of the reputation of the crew Nick belonged to. So tell me about the Blicky thing. Like, like, like what do you like, mean by like, telling you about it? Blicky, you know, in, in Brooklyn, Blicky is a, is a slang for handgun, right? For? For a handgun. Yeah, you can say that. So why'd you guys start calling yourself Blicky Gang? <laughs> you feel me like there you go right there Vlad like you feel me like it is, it is what it is it is what it is bro like Nick himself upheld the energy of the streets he was proud of his gangster disciple roots and supported everything that life came with nobody pay with me you talking about I'm GD you talking about nigga. nobody pay with me nigga. he was no stranger to getting into confrontations letting his rivals be aware that if he's crossed, he is ready for the smoke. Sadly, his life was the one that was taken. May 10th, Nick was excited, continuing promotions of his debut mixtape in the music industry that he was teasing to release less than a month away. It was about to be his moment to shine, but he would never see that moment. Counting down to his last breath, Nick was in the vicinity of Prospect Lefford's garden at around 8.30 p.m. A little after 9 p.m., he then made his way to 200 Winthrop Street. Unknowing to him, someone was on the verge of brandishing a firearm with intent to take his life. Moments later at around 9.30 p.m., shots were heard ringing off, and one witness at the scene would come across a man lying on the floor in a pool of blood suffering from gunshot wounds. The witness would call 911, informing of the shooting and the location. Responding to the emergency call, officers arrived at the scene to find Nick Blicky suffering gunshot wounds to his torso and buttocks. He was categorized as unconscious and unresponsive at the scene when they arrived. The streets were littered with red and blue lights, canvassing the area as residents in the region looked down at the scene. Voices can be heard in shock over the bullet-riddled body that was allegedly fired upon seven times. Nick Blicky was rushed to King County Hospital, but it was too late. All that was left at the scene were bullet shells, yellow tape, and signs of tragedy that happened on surrounding buildings. The news broke of the rapper's untimely passing and sparked mixed emotions. 443 breaking news out of Brooklyn where a popular rapper was shot and killed overnight. Nick Blixey was uh, discovered with gunshot 
Woods on Winthrop Street in Prospect Lefferts Gardens. A picture from Instagram shows the rapper who has tens of thousands of followers. A 21-year-old artist born as Nicholas Thompson was shot around 9.30 last night. Tributes poured in from the hip-hop world on social media for the Jamaican-American artist. Some, like his friends and family, were in mourning. But others, like his rivals, were in celebration of his homicide. Got me doing, bro. What you got me doing, bro? 63 candles, white and black. You know how to be rocking, gang. Two rivals in particular made their feelings known, disrespecting Nick Blicky's passing. The first was Maddie G's with the blatant taunt saying that he was smoking on that Nick Blicky pack, a gang slang for someone that was murked. A second rival, known by the alias Justo B, took things down a much darker route. Not only did he post a video popping what appears to be champagne, celebrating Nick's homicide, but he also went as far as insinuating that he was at the gravesite of Nick when he posted a picture upon a grave with a rake and shirt, reading, rest in pit, Nick Blicky, GDK, one after the next. The hatred among youths grown up in the gang culture was shining for all to see. The number of persons celebrating another's demise continued to rise. From laughing and finding humor in the tragedy, to using the tragedy to mock his close friends online. You smiley, your man's died two days ago. I don't take you serious, you fucking clown. Look at your face now. You worry don't, about think the crowd. don't think of it like that. Nas Blicky, who was close to Nick, took to Instagram to voice his feelings on the matter, urging persons to stop disrespecting the passing of his friend. Unfortunately, his words had little effect. Instead, the end result of Nick Blicky's passing was an intensified gang feud between rival factions. A police report would make this reality even more viable because according to their investigations, Nick's homicide was possibly tied to the hit of another Brooklyn rapper, Pop Smoke, earlier the same year. I just don't like Yo, bro, please, y'all. Please, bro. Please, y'all. I respect it. Just leave Blick name out of anything, bro. Like, just leave his name, bro. That nigga don't talk about it. Just, you know, just leave, nigga, leave my brother name out your mouth. Let him rest in peace. To make matters worse, a previous video resurfaced of Nas Blicky singing Pop Smoke's smash hit, Dior, when Pop Smoke was murdered, leading many to believe it was him mocking his passing. Like a man. Amid the allegations and reports from investigators, Nas Blicky was shut down any allegations that Nick Blicky disrespected Pop Smoke, but not hiding the fact that another crew member did talk down on Pop Smoke's name. After Nick Blicky passed, the streets of Brooklyn was wrapped in fear and panic by civilians caught between the retaliations and heightened danger. Rival Blicky gangs, the Woos, and members claiming GDK, aka Gangster Disciple Killers were being targeted. Rappers like GS9 Bugsy and GDK member KJ Bala were some of the first to end up on the wrong side of the gun. Just as grief was felt by the people they laughed at when Nick passed, they too were now feeling what it's like to lose people they loved and cared about. The consensus drawn from rumors was that Blicky Gang had a hand to play in the retaliations that were occurring. Everyone involved in the beef had their moment in the spotlight. A spotlight that shone upon the ignorance that showed lost people thinking that killing one another was in any way a form of victory. Blicky Gang also continued to suffer losses. Member Luis Caballero, aka Lou Blicky, would lose his life in the string of retaliations prompting more pain and hurt to seep into the already serious feud. Lou Blicky was shot and killed at Watkins Street and Livonia Ave in Brownsville, leaving family members to cry and bear the pain of his loss. Forward to the present year, 
and the feud continues to put lives in danger. January 2022, Blicky member and close friend of Nick Blicky, Nazir Fisher, aka Nas Blicky, was the target of an attempted assassination by his rivals. In a released surveillance footage by authorities, a man walking along the sidewalk on Montgomery Street in the Prospect Lefferts Gardens pulls out a gun as he crossed the street towards Rogers Avenue and started shooting. Nas Blicky was left fighting for his life with shots to his back and leg. Images was released by cops of the person of interest responsible for the shooting. At first, news began circulating that Nas Blicky was shot in the head and passed away. His rivals couldn't wait to jump at the news with malice for his well-being and joy for another one of their enemies being reported gone. It was disturbing to see how easily someone's demise is celebrated. Boldly in live videos, individuals, both men and women, were openly praying for Nas Blicky to lose his life. Disappointing their hopes, Nas Blicky would emerge in a later interview on urban platform Fuchsia's TV to clear all rumors about him being shot in the head and him passing away. So where did you, where did you get shot at? How many times? I shot three times, bro. Where, where was it at? My back and my leg. Stating that he was in fact shot, but it was in his back and leg. Nas Blicky recalled what happened. He dropped off his kid and stopped at a store to get something. But as he came out of the store, he was ambushed by the assailant. I just dropped off my little one and I stopped in the store to get something, you feel me? As I came out the store, I was getting ambushed, you feel me? Yeah. That's it, you feel me? Yeah, I tried to say game though, bro. I can't stress it. Well, after that, like, you know what I'm saying, on your way to the hospital, did you think you was going to make it or you ain't really? I keep it with you, bro, with you. I thought I was going to die. Yeah. Real shit. And, you know what I'm saying, I seen like different news outlets, they say that you got shot in the head. Yeah, well, a lot of rumors. Well, that's, that was a lie, right? Come on, you yeah. see my head right now, look like I got shot. My head, I'm focusing. I never got shot in my head when I'm, you know, the chicken keeps up. You feel me? The shit ain't about nothing, bro. So where did you, where did you get shot at? How many times? I shot three <coughs> times, bro. Yeah. Where, where was it at? back in my leg. Nas honestly believes that his life was coming to an end and he was being transported to the hospital, but luckily he survived. Well, after that, like, you know what I'm saying, on your way to the hospital, did you think you was gonna make it or you ain't really? I can't believe you, bro, I thought I was gonna die. Yeah. It's been a long road for the Blicky gang since the passing of their brother, Nick Blicky. But all hope doesn't seem lost. Amidst all the retaliation and homicides, news came that ex-convict Caleb Glean, who had been out on parole after serving just over four years on an attempted murder conviction, was apprehended in relation to the hit on Nick Blicky. After combing through extensive video surveillance recovered from near the scene, investigators were able to make out the alleged shooter wearing a blue bandana a hoodie with a pattern on it, bronze foam posit shoes, and a big gold ring on his left hand ring finger. The distinguishing marks that tied him in as the main suspect was a globe tattoo which was visible on his left arm. Reporters state, it is believed that Glean was caught on surveillance camera in a deli near the crime scene buying a drink and his distinctive globe tattoo could be seen according to the complaint filed against him. Eyewitness also helped piece the puzzle together, informing the NYPD a man approached Nick Blicky moments before his passing and the two men greeted one another, leading authorities to believe Nick knew his killer. According to the feds, another witness down the block heard the gunshots and saw a man wearing a hoodie and a blue bandana running away from the scene and hopped on a getaway dirt bike that was driven up by an unknown person. Footage seems to back up what witnesses saw, showing Glean approaching Thompson, aka Nick Blicky, and briefly touched his hands with him. Glean backed up a few steps 
pulled out a firearm and shot at Nick multiple times. Roughly 10 minutes after the hit, video surveillance then captured the man believed to be the shooter entering a building at 800 Eastern Parkway, where Glean lives. To date, Nick's murderer has been posting online asking for financial support for his legal fees to fight the case, as he claims he's innocent. His GoFundMe page was discovered to that end. Nick had a promising future in the music industry, but he will never get to see the height of success he was destined to reach. Rest in peace, Nick Blakey.